everyone. Welcome to Poor Painting with Ron. In today's video, we're going to have some fun with balloons. As usual, if you like what you see today, please press the like button. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please take a moment to subscribe. Thanks. So you may be wondering how I create a painting with balloons. Well, it's quite a bit different to a flip cup pour, that's for sure. Well, the first thing I do is pre-paint my canvas with a background that I like. So in today's painting, I've chosen a 40 centimeter by 80 centimeter canvas, quite a large one today. And I've just used normal acrylic paint and a brush to paint my background and I let it dry overnight. So it's now ready to go. Now the paint that I used was just the standard Montmartre acrylic paint and I lined it with just a little bit of white to create that graduating effect on the canvas. I want to do a painting today that reminds me a little bit of jellyfish swimming around in the ocean. All right, so that's what I use for my background. Now to do the actual balloon colors on the top, I've chosen today to use some of my favorite Extreme Sheen um, metallic paints by Deco Art. Now I've chosen today to use pearl and um, some bronze, uh, 24 karat gold, some berry, some amethyst, and some copper. Now it's really difficult to give you amounts to use for this sort of canvas. What I normally do with my Extreme Sheen paints is just mix up a lot of those with Floetrol and put them into these little squirt bottles. So I normally mix up about 25 grams of paint with 25 grams of Floetrol and that's plenty to do a painting of this size and several more paintings. But once you've mixed it up, it will last for ages in these squeeze bottles and you can use them in multiple paintings whenever you want to. Easy. Okay, now the balloons. I'm going to use balloons today to create nice round dimples or some people call them medallions of colour over my canvas. Now to create the nice round ones, I filled up my balloons with water rather than air. So it gives them a little bit of weight, as you can see, and I can just press them down onto my canvas to make a nice round circle. You'll see how that works in a bit. Now I've made a couple of different sizes. I don't know if I'll use them all, but I've got a larger one and I've got a couple of smaller ones. So I'll probably use the larger one and this small one just to create a bit of interest on the canvas. Now this sort of painting happens in stages. It's not a good idea to press one circle medallion on top of one that's still wet. It tends to smudge and not look nice. Well, I think so anyway. So I do a couple spread out over the canvas. I wait a couple of hours for them to dry. Doesn't take long because they're really thin. And then I go ahead and do some more. And I keep repeating the progress until I'm finished my painting. And I'm happy with the overall result. So let's get started. Okay, we're ready to go. I've got all my colours here in squeeze bottles already mixed up, ready to go. I've got my balloons and I've got quite a few paper towels here ready to wipe the balloon down between each press. All right, now the idea is to make a little puddle of colour and then press the balloon gently on the top and lift it up to create the medallion. Now, don't worry if the paint is a little bit lumpy when you've done it. It will go flat as it dries. All right. Now, I want pretty psychedelic, colourful looking jellyfish on this painting. So let me see. I might get some 24 karat gold. 
Where will I put my first one? Maybe there. Don't need a lot. Then I might put a bit of copper. On the top like so. Now I'll start off with my, my big medallions. Now the idea is to get it in the middle. Press down and lift and you get your circle shape. Now you may end up with enough left on your balloon to press it again. So I'll just go to another spot. Press and lift. That one. Oh yeah, that one wasn't too bad. And then I'll wipe off the excess. There's a bit of a lumpy bit in that one. Just there, a bit of a lumpy bit. I'll find my tweezers. Uh, yuck. Now I've wrecked that one a bit. So there's no problem with just pressing again. I'll just put some more gold on there. Helps if I take the top off. Bit of gold. And a bit of copper. And I press. There we go. I quite enjoy doing these paintings. Oh, I will. What one will I do? I'll do the gold again. berry on it Get my balloon Okay, so that's my first layer done. I'm just going to let this dry for a couple of hours and then come back and put in my smaller circles using the smaller balloon. So we'll see you soon. Okay, now the first layer has dried quite nicely. There's still a, a few wet spots that I need to be careful to avoid when I'm putting on my smaller circles. I still may end up doing a third layer. We'll see how we go. So I'm using the itsy bitsy little balloon now and I'm going to intersperse those amongst the other ones and perhaps overlap a little bit. And when the light shines directly on these, they're really bright and shiny. You'll see that when I bring you up for a closer look once I'm done. Okay, so here we go. I may speed this up because it can get a little bit tedious watching me press balloons into paint.
Okay, that's the second layer done. I'm liking how it's turning out, although I'll let it dry just for an hour or two and I may put one or two small ones elsewhere just to fix my composition a bit, but it's turning out really nice. We'll be back soon. So here we are again for the final layer. There's just a few more little ones that I want to pop here and there to tidy it up. And then I think we're done. turned out really well. Well I'll just wait for it to dry a bit and then I'll bring you in for a closer look. Okay so the painting is pretty much dry now. By tomorrow morning it should be fine but as you can see the metallics just come up really nice when they're dry. They're nice and shiny and the overall effect is really awesome. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Now, Painting with balloons can be a bit time consuming, but it's really not that difficult to do and the results can look really amazing. So I hope you've learnt something new as you watch the video today and I've inspired you to give painting with balloons a go. So, happy painting and we'll see you next time.